Hey, this is Sash from Survivor Nicaragua. Check out realitywanted.com. Reality Wanted, we're here with Sash. Yeah. No. What happened? You were the master strategist Thank person you. of the season. You were, you were. How did it, where did it go wrong? It didn't go wrong. I played my game solid from start to finish. The only thing that went wrong was um, the lack of respect for the game from the jury members. Um, you know, I played as hard as I could. I don't regret a single thing. Um, and I really thought that some people in the jury respected the game as much as I did. Didn't turn out that way. Look, Fabio is very deserving. I'm a super fan of the show. I've watched it 10 years, 20 seasons. I thought I knew every single angle that a player could possibly pull out of their pocket. Fabio played a different game. I never saw it coming. He outwitted everyone, all 19 other contestants, and I tipped my hat to the guy. He had a great game. No, I mean, I do agree with you. I feel as though you played a game that, you know, we're a custom scene, but I don't think this season was a season that we're accustomed to seeing. I, th I thought a lot of amateur mistakes were made. What do you think was one of the best moves that you did throughout the entire game? Um, I had two great moves, I think. Uh, first was taking Marty's immunity idol. Ingenious. Um, <laughs> you know, um, he was the leader of Espada, and he came over. Um, it had been my plan. As soon as he hung his idol on our tree, I knew I had to take it, and you know that was our strategy. The other thing was, what people don't realize is, the night Brenda got voted home, it was just within 24 hours that both Nyanka and Purple Kelly left the game. So within 24 hours, I went from being the king of the merged tribe to the bottom of the totem pole and I went to bed that night thinking I was going to be the next one to go. Even Brenda said it when we were going to final tribal council. She goes, you know, Sash, if I leave tonight, you'll be the next one to go. And then I woke up that next morning, realized I was in a unique position, turned myself back out to, on top and, you know, made a run for the end. I think I played a great game. I have no regrets. If I could go back, I'd do it exactly the same. Okay. No. We're coming down to the final four, and you know, Fabio is saying, Would you carry me to the final three had you won? Right. And you say, um, I don't know what I said, but it obviously wasn't very convincing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, I planted a seed in Fabio's head days beforehand, um, telling him that I thought Holly was a huge threat. I didn't necessarily believe that at the time because um, I want to take her to the end because I thought I could beat her. But look, I told Fabio, she's the only woman left. She's going to get all the female votes. She's the only remaining Espada member. Everyone from Espada could vote for her. So days out, I planned a strategy trying to plant the seed in Fabio's head. So going to Tribal Council, I felt very confident that um, even though maybe Fabio didn't believe me 100%, that I'd already planted the seed far enough in advance that he wasn't going to switch that up because it would be detrimental to his game. No, Reality Wanted is one of the top casting websites I on know. the planet. I know. No, a million billion people want to know how do you get onto a reality show? How do you get onto Survive? And how do you become a mastermind? Of the game? <laughs> Look, I sent in a three minute tape. Um, I've been a super fan. The very last day that casting was going on, or I was on, I watched CBS.com all the time, so I saw that they were casting online. So one day before the deadline was due to send in your three minute tape, I made it. I just held up the camera in front of my face, talked a little bit about who I was, where I was from. I, it was so late in the day, I didn't even have a chance to watch the tape a second time, put it in the mail, never thought I'd hear from Survivor again. Turns out two weeks later I get a phone call, this is so and so from Survivor, I have a few questions from you, but chances are you never hear from me again. Uh, and just like Jeff said tonight, um, you know, he thought I was going to be the first one voted off. I, you know, I think I surprised a lot of people. But look, it's just about sending in that tape, being true to yourself, being real, and um, you know, just uh, just work it.